In this video, you will learn how to create Spark session in Python. The entry point into all functionality in Spark is the Spark session. From PySpark.sql import Spark session. Now we are going to create an object Spark and in that we will create the Spark session and save it. So I will create the object Spark here. I will call the class Spark session. From this I will call the method builder dot now I will give the app name so I will call the method app name here in app name you can put any name here for example I will write python spark tutorial you can write any anything in this app name dot config in this we will define the configuration such as the the driver memory or executor memory or even you can leave it uh, leave it as blank also so i will define the configuration here i will write spark dot driver dot memory and the driver memory is going to be 40 gb so i will write 40 g next i will call the method get or create get or create and that's it. So we have created this Spark session here. Now let's execute our code. This will create this Spark session for us and save in the object Spark here. Now it has created this Spark session. Let's call our object Spark. And here in the output, you can see we got all the details about our Spark session, such as the it is in memory and it has also created the Spark context. Then here you will see the version. The version is 3.0.0. Master is local because we are running this Spark session on our local machine. I'm running this on my laptop. So that is why here it is saying local. App name Python Spark tutorial, which I have defined here. So you can define anything here in this app name. Now you can use this Spark session object to perform any operations such as creating RDDs, data frame, etc. And if you want to get more information about your Spark session, you can click on this Spark UI and you will get the notification here. You just have to click on this leave page. And when you click this, you will come on this page and here you will see information about your Spark session, such as the executors. Here you will see the ex executors. Then here you will see the jobs. You have different tabs here, for example, stages. So here you will see all the stages for all the jobs, then storage, then we have environment. So here you will see the environment and you will see the environment information such as the Java home where you have, you know, put the Java home. So this is the location where my Java JDK file is saved. Mm -hmm. Then you will see executors here. And here we will get the information about the executors. So you have information such as the storage memory, disk use, number of cores that you are using. So I have eight cores and all the eight codes are here, you can see here. Then you will also see the SQL. So once you create the SQL context, you will click on this SQL and you will see information about the SQL also. Then you can go back to the page uh, that is the Jupyter Notebook. You just have to click on this back button unless you reach there. And you can see there, we are back to our this Spark session page. And in our previous video, we have seen how to create a Spark context but that is an old way of entering into Spark. Now the entry point to Spark functionality is Spark session. In our upcoming tutorial, we will see how to create data frame and perform other operations using Spark session. We will also develop machine learning models in PySpark. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.